Hello guys and welcome back to another Jonas Central tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cool uh, caustics effect in Blender just as kind of in a material form so you don't actually need to worry about actually tracing um, reflections and refractions in Blender. And it is animated too, which looks pretty sweet if you have to ask me. So uh, it's actually relatively simple. So uh, you don't need to worry about this sand texture I have. It's pretty much just a color output and bump output with a simple procedural setup. Same with uh, some of the things I have back here, just a relatively simple tile setup and an image texture, uh, just just to show you that versatility, you illiterate f that uh, you can apply this caustics effect to any type of material. Uh, the caustics effect is actually the thing that we want to worry about, and this is is this is the foundation of what's going to get us this animated, cool caustics effect. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. So, now that we got housekeeping out of the way, uh, let us begin. So we're going to start with adding in a Veroni texture and we're going to be plugging distance into base color. Let me turn that off. Uh, this texture is the building block of our caustics effect. So we're going to change F1 to um, distance to edge. Now it's starting to look like rocks. So we're going to want to add in, uh, sorry, not a color wrap, uh, RGB curves. And we're going to want to adjust the curve to look like the way I'm making it. Of course, you can play around with it, but personally, this is what I found looked uh, the nicest. So if you want to mess around with it, experiment, uh, go ahead. Uh, I actually uh, promote experimenting just so you can get exactly how you want it to uh, look like. So uh, this kind of looks like the image I have in the bottom left corner, but it's not perfect. So uh, if you have the Node Wrangler add-on, if you select your Veroni texture and press Control T, you can add in texture coordinates and a mapping node. Otherwise, you're going to have to do it by hand. Uh, it's really simple to add the Node Wrangler add-on though. You just go uh, Edit, Preferences, and Enable it. So uh, we're going to add in a it's, sorry, holy crap, I can't type. Uh, mix RGB, and we're going to put it in between the mapping node and the Veroni texture. Now we're going to add in a noise texture and plug the factor of that noise texture into the color of our mix RGB. Now this is a fascinating result, but that's okay. We just need to tweak the noise texture in the mix RGB to get it to just add a little bit of distortion to our texture. So. Uh, for all you 2.9 users, turn the roughness of this noise texture down to zero. Otherwise, if you're using 2.8 or before, turn the detail down. Uh, and we're going to change the factor on this mix RGB down to just 0.1. As you can see, no distortion, a little bit of distortion. You can play around with that distortion, play around with the noise settings if you want to, but I'm just going to leave it how I have it. Uh, I might also actually increase the scale of this Veroni texture to 10. Sick. All right, so now we're going to copy the Veroni and RGB curves. And we're going to increase this Veroni texture by a bit. I'm going to change it from 10 to 12. And of course, we're going to add the color of this mix RGB into the vector of our Veroni texture. Now, we're going to add in a, we're going to copy this mix RGB, or you could just add in a new one, I guess. Uh, and we're going to change the mix to add. So we're going to add the smaller RGB curves onto the top of this add node and the bigger one onto the bottom. And once we've got that done, we can plug this color of the add RGB into the base color of our principal BSDF. And then we're going to change the factor of this add uh, to I found what works best for me is 0.3. Awesome. So now we're going to want to apply this to one of our materials, uh, whether you're using an image texture a pre or a procedural setup, uh, it really just doesn't matter. So we're going to want to add in a bright and contrast node and we're going to want to plug the color of whatever texture you're using into the color of the brightness and contrast. Nice. All right. So now we're going to want to add in another mix RGB. And we're going to put it in front of this add RGB and behind the principal BSDF. And now we're going to switch this add 
add RGB from color one to the factor of this mix RGB node. Um, so we're going to plug our base color into the top socket of the mix RGB node. And then for our bright and contrast node, uh, what I found worked the nicest uh, was negative 0.3. So we're going to change that to negative 0.3 or darker or brighter depending on your preference and we're going to plug that into the bottom socket of the mix rgb node and as you can see we've got this working caustics effect nice so now it's not animated and you must be wondering well hopefully you're wondering how did i animate that in the beginning it's actually fairly simple we're going to be using a mathematical expression in drivers so uh, right click the Z coordinates or Z location on this mapping node and press add driver. Now we're going to delete this variable right here and for the expression we're going to do frame over 180 because if we did here if we did just frame as you can see it's way too fast and so instead of every frame being a driver value we're going to make it into a fraction so it's a lot slower. Perfect. Now we actually got a working caustic effect and we're done. It, see, that it's really simple to set this up as long as you know what you're doing. Now I have this image texture here uh, just to truly show you the power of this setup I have right here. I'm going to plug this image texture into the brightness and contrast and into this, uh, into the top socket of the mix RGB. And as you can see, we still got a nice functioning caustic effect on the image texture. It's And it works great, it looks great, and I hope it helps out with one of your projects. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I'm sorry it took so long to upload. I've been, well, I've been lazy, and I've been uh, kind of busy with school. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. See you later.